there's just some lovely things that we can do and play with the pebbles. This is all early cause and effect. This is all early cognition. And it's the earliest stages of things like the computing curriculum. So it's understanding that when we do something and when we change something, something happens. So there's an input and there's an output which we control. And that's, you know, the bottom end of the computing curriculum. So at the very simplest level, on one of these, my input is pressing and the output is the change of colour. You can coordinate that input and output. So I could have this and I could give this one to somebody else and ask them to make it the same. So you've got something that's very soothing, very calming. Lovely if you've got timeout rooms. If you've got a timeout room or a timeout space, what a good thing to have and let somebody just enjoy them. It's also, this would be fantastic if you used it as an emotion recorder. So if you let different children, sometimes when children are upset about something or happy about something, but they haven't got the words they can't explain, but you can just say, well, which of those colors is how you feel now? So this time we've got the pebbles and they're flat. But look what I've put them on. I've put them on a bit of old blue velvety stuff. And look at the difference we've got rather than just having them on the desk or having them in my hand. We've instantly created a much level, uh, much better visual contrast for, for me to see those colours against. Then we can start to layer them. So we could take that green one and put a blue one on top. And I could take this orange one and add a pink one on top. It's about visual attention and visual focus, and it's about engaging that little brain to look more closely and to engage with what you want, but also to be creative. And I just know there's a little lad I work with who's space mad, and what he'd want me to do at this point is to get an astronaut or two, and for us to go into space around these planets. Now, he would instantly change the planets, so he would make the planets his own. And we could take those astronauts on a journey flying over and describing what they see.